Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today is the 28th of November, 2022. We're going to talk about Adam today or Cosmos. Let's talk about it because the market may have given us a big reason as to why price is going to continue to go lower. You want to know about it? Let me show it to you. Check this out. Did a price prediction in Adam on November the 1st, 2022, looking for the price to go up. Now, we had, what, three or four days to where the price in, in uh, Adam was going higher. Okay. I'm not necessarily sure where I have my price target. So we had to go back and see my last video about Adam to see where my price target was at. But at the high of this day right here, November the 5th, that's around 12 and a quarter percent. Now, let me show you how we can tell that price in Adam is still geared to go lower. Okay. Now, first thing, how do we understand at what point should we have gotten out our prediction of looking for Adam to go higher? to switching over to say it's going to go down at what day at what point let me show it to you okay because we always pay attention to the price action so you guys can see that the market action in Adam was on a very good uptrend right starting right here in October October 21st 2022 the market in Adam broke that trend on November the 8th and it came all the way down here to our support area which is around $11.50 the following day look at that the 9th of november market definitely went back down price came right back up into our price prediction area but we still saw the weakness this is the time frame that the market was telling us that you need to cut the idea of looking for adam to go higher to looking forward to go down because if you guys don't pay attention to what the price action is telling us then we will get caught in some very precarious situations to where we should have said or i should have done type situations the market told us right here on November the 9th, 10th, and the 11th, even on the 12th, that you need to let this go. Because if you don't, that 17 and 17.85 percent loss has increased to 31 percent. That's why it's very important for us to keep a keen eye on the price action of these markets because it tells us what we need to do. So let's go ahead and cut that out the way. That's probably the top reason as to how we can tell that Adam is not trending higher and expecting to go lower now let's look at this on the weekly chart first okay so over the last couple of weeks you guys can see here that namely the volatility came into the market in adam right here okay we saw a little bit here the prior week uh two weeks ago but not seeing it so much so maybe we might be hitting some support what do you think let's see so let's create this support line and i think you guys can see where we at okay now, let me go ahead and cut this upper line out the way because the market action is coming down here towards $8.40, okay? Looking out, we can see how this price area was utilized again as a major area of resistance back in 2020 of August. It used this area as well for support in May of 2021, even in June of 2021 going into July, okay? So yeah, $8.50 is very important. So we need to identify this area so we can know which side of the market is actually going to dominate this price area. Because if the buyers are going to dominate here in Adam, then guess what? The price is going to go higher. But if the sellers are going to dominate this area, then the price is going to continue to go lower. Okay, let's look at this on the two weeks. So we have six more days and 12 hours left on this current two week price bar. Now the last one I don't like. That last two week price bar definitely tells me that we may need to be prepared for Adam's price to continue to go lower, even here on the three weeks. Okay, so we got this week right here to confirm that buyers are either in control or the sellers are still in control. Because right now, the sellers are dominating the market in, in Adam or Cosmos. Okay, from the two week chart, even here on the three weeks. Look at this on the monthly since we got a couple more days left before the month of November ends. You guys can even see it right here. So I'm not massively bullish in the market and Adam from an opportunity basis, which side is actually winning right now? I would have to say, I would have to give it to the sellers. I would have to say that the sellers are actually controlling the price action in Adam and we have to be prepared for price to continue to go down. We have to, until we see the buyers come in and control the market. Okay, so look at this on the three day chart. Okay, so as of right now, I'm not going to be a massive bear. I'm not going to look for price to crash or plummet, but I'm just getting prepared for us to at least see price come down to $9, maybe down here to this $8.50 area. Okay. 
So let me do that real quick. See what we're working with. So for us to go to nine dollars, it's only a seven percent move. Which is not too bad. We're gonna hold resistance and add on right there around twelve dollars though. Okay, so we got one price target at nine. Second one is going to be around eight dollars and fifty cents. Okay, that's our second price target, and that gives us around eleven percent profitability there. Then the third one is going to be around seven dollars and fifty cents. Okay, now definitely those first two price targets nine dollars, eight dollars and fifty cents. If I continue to see buyers step in, then that's how low the market's going to go. I won't even consider and contemplate the market come all the way down here in 750. So I'm really going to be paying attention to see the buyers try to step in around nine or even eight dollars and fifty cents over the next couple of trading days. But that's it. I am done. Going to play a little bit of weakness into the market now. I'm really playing the weakness from a weekly, uh, two weeks, three weekly time frame because that's really where I'm seeing the market uh, showing us the weakness. Now, the next six days this week, if the buyers continue to come in, like let me show you something. So let's say that the market throughout this trading week, this new trading week, does this, then we will have to switch over our idea looking for Adam to continue to go lower to it beginning to go back up in price because the buyers are stepping in right around here. If we see that, then yeah, that's how low the market's anticipated to go. But from the two weekly chart and the three weekly chart, it kind of resembles that the market in Adam could do this, continue to dip lower though. Okay, so that's why I'm expecting or at least extending this prediction area down to 750. We'll see how low price goes though. All right, so give me your thoughts, give me your price prediction, your price target in the market for Adam, and always hit the like button instead of it. Also, subscribe to the channel. You're not going to get anyone out here giving you all advance notice as to what to expect into the market for the cryptocurrency space. They talk about after the fact, after the market has moved 15, 20, 30 percent, the advantage that we need to have, the edge that we need to have in the market is to be in position already before price moves. So, this is what I'm thinking. Now, I want to know what do y'all think? Tell me. Make sure you maintain the profitability, and as always, trade different.